Hi, math. Math 20 years, Algebra 1 students. Um, this is a little video reviewing some graphing from standard form. And the thing with uh, the homework that's causing some people trouble is it asks about the x and y intercepts. Um, we actually did that, but I, I get that that's an issue right now, uh, just because the, the words are causing trouble. Uh, that's not what I want, I want blue. So we're gonna do this first equation first. Uh, 2x minus 7y equals 28. So first I always set up a little table. It's just like what I did in class uh, with x and y. So we'll have some values that go together. And I'm gonna choose zero for x because uh, that's gonna be easy to work with. When I choose zero for x, I'm in essence finding one of the intercepts. I'm finding the y intercept because on the graph, let me go to a graph down here. Let me make a couple of graphs. On the graph, everywhere along the y axis is x equals zero. Everywhere along the x axis is y equals zero. Um, again, everywhere along the x along the y axis, x equals zero, and everywhere along the x axis, y equals zero. So um, it helps to uh, make the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. And that's what's being asked in the homework. So we plug a zero in for x. And uh, this first term goes away because it's 2 times 0 minus 7y equals 28. All right. So 2 times 0, that just goes away. And then we can divide by 7, and we get y equals, uh, let's see, 28 divided by negative 7 is negative 4. All right. And we can plot that point on the graph. Notice that x equals 0, y equals negative 4. That's going to be down here somewhere. 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Right? And it is, in fact, the y-intercept. That's called the y-intercept. Okay. All right. Now, we need another point because we're graphing a line. We need one more point. So we're going to make y equal to 0. When we make y equal to 0, we plug a y in here for for y, and we get uh, 2x minus 7 times 0 equals 28. Now, I don't mind if you don't, if you stop writing these terms. I mean, they zero out. So we wind up with 2x equals 28 and x equals 14. 28, 28. x equals 14. So way out here, we're going to have, where it is at 14, um, we are going to have a x-intercept and x-intercept. I'm supposed to say n before the word x. So we have that point. And then we can draw a line through the two points. All right, let's do one more example. Uh, I'll do this one in, uh, in a dark red. I thought this was supposed to, this text was supposed to be in dark red, but it's not. Okay, so again, I'm going to make a little chart, a little xy chart. All right, oh, I didn't fill out my my y value over here, 14 on my x value. So uh, we did the second equation to get this 14, 0. So I'm going to start my chart here with a 0 for x and a 0 for y. I'm going to do this one a little faster. I'm going to skip a step a little bit. So when I put 0 in for x, this first term goes away, and I wind up with just y or plus y equals 6. All right. So when x equals 0, y equals 6. That's the y-intercept. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then when I put 0 in for y, I get negative 3x equals 6. Um, so x equals negative oh, equals 6 um, equals negative 2. So that's going to be back here. That's x equals negative 2, y equals 0. That's the x-intercept. All right. x-intercept where it crosses the x-axis, y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, and draw your line. I hope that helps. Graphing from standard form.